Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Debbie and today I'll be doing an unboxing for my BoxyCharm Premium. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I got in my box this month, then just keep on watching. And before I get started, I do want to remind anybody, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And let's just hop right into this unboxing. So here's the card. I got the variation number four. And um, I took a little sneak peek and honestly, I'm not that happy with what I received. To be honest, um, I feel like Boxing Charm is one month is a hit and the next month is really not a hit. So I feel like this month for me, definitely this month was not a hit for me. Neither was the base box or this box. I mean, this box is better than the base box. But then I'm really thinking about only keeping half of my box and then the other half I'm pretty sure I'm going to give away. So we're just going to start with the choice item, which is a choice. So I was very excited to receive this. This is the, um, the palette from La Masca. Pretty sure I'm saying that right. And I got, hold on, let me see. And this palette is called Unveiled Artistry Palette, and it retails for $50. So this was a choice. I don't, I'm not sure what was the other choice item for this. I think, I'm not sure, so I'm not even going to try it. But as you can see, oh, I think it was a Spashbox um, powder thing. I'm, I'm, I think that's what it was, but I'm not sure. But of course, I picked the palette because I am a palette girl. And I never tried this brand, so I'm very excited to try this brand. This is what the palette looks like. As you can see, it's like a really like basic everyday palette, but with some pop of pinks, which I think would be perfect for me for every day when I'm not in the mood to do anything, you know, too colorful and I just want to do something quick. I think this would be a great palette. I can't wait to try out this formula and try out this brand. Um, I hear a lot of good things about this brand. I mean, I don't hear much about them because not... A lot of people talk about them but when somebody does talk about them i hear a lot of good things so i cannot wait to try this palette out and that was my little choice item and that's the first item that was in my box the second item here is a dose of color single shadow i think let me see this is a black party single shadow and it retails for 20 dollars. it's slinky so that's the shade name and this is what she looks like so it's like a matte like not a matte this is like a glittery shimmery gray shadow yeah this is what it looks like yeah metallic gray so so the third thing i got in my box is from pure and this is their this is their pure four in one skin perfecting powder face palette and it retails for 32 dollars so And it's in fair light, so I'm assuming they have more shades. And I think this is nice. It's a face palette. I'm I'm very excited. I'm I'm very excited to try it out. I do have another one um, that I received also in a boxy charm that smells like chocolate. Like this one doesn't, but it's cute, and I can't wait to try it out. It's for fair light, so I'm pretty sure it will work out for me. But this was the third item included in my box. And it retails for, again, for $32, in case anybody missed it. <laughs> the next thing was honestly very disappointing. This is a cuticle oil. Um, yeah, it retails for $22. It's from Lifestyle Co. Um, and it's just a cuticle oil. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I received one as well in uh, Boxy Lux that I used to, when I used to um, own Boxy Lux. I know they sent one out too. I have it somewhere in my collection, or I think I got rid of it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I'm probably just going to give this to somebody, but this was very disappointing because I thought I thought Boxy Premium was supposed to be more makeup. If I'm not mistaken, I thought that was, that was like their promotion when it first came out. And honestly, I only got three products that were makeup related. Um, here's something else that I'm not going to keep. And this is... um. This is from Cosmetics, and it's a skincare brush set um i really don't need this so i'm just gonna give it to my mom see if she could get some use out of it or something but this retails for 25 dollars so i'm not even gonna open it i'm not gonna touch it so yeah it's, a, it's brushes for skincare i prefer brushes for eyeshadow but yeah so that's like that's something else that i got and then the last thing here is from grown alchemist it's biological beauty so it's a detox night cream and um this retails for 125 dollars 
They detox and, and regenerates the skin, reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, resulting in radiance and youthful looking skin. So, I'm going to give this to my mom because right now my skin is going through something. I tried something out and honestly it irritated my skin. So my skin right now has a lot of like bumps and it's like really itchy and it's like really irritated. So I'm, right now I'm not using anything except moisturizer to try to like, because it also is also very dry. So right now it's like in a healing process um, where it's just really dry and like really itchy. Um, I have very sensitive skin. So anything new that I try I have I, I'm at risk of irritating my skin so right now I'm not using anything uh, I think that what irritated my skin honestly was um, that melt melt not it was yeah it was the milk hydrating primer thing that they had that the the green one that CC phrase because that was the only thing new that I had tried for my skin so I feel like that irritated my skin so I got rid of it um, but yeah, so right now I'm not using anything for my skin. So I'm just going to give this to my mom. Um, it's supposed to, you know, reduce appearance of fine lines and wrinkles anyways. I don't have wrinkles or fine lines because I'm only in my early 20s. So this could be something that she could use and she could try out. And maybe she could tell me how it works for her. But yeah, so this is not something I'm going to keep. This is not, not something I'm really excited to receive anyways. It is a high price, like 125 which is... I would not spend that much on skincare right now. I would not spend that much on skincare. But, you know, if anybody's really excited to try this out, or if you have tried this out, let me know down below. Because I know a lot of people in my previous video, they were, like, raving about the Forsali, um quench thing. And I did keep that, and that's really what I'm using right now on my skin to, like, try to, like, you know, tone down the dryness. So, again, if anybody has tried this and you have, like, good experience with it let me know down below because i'll definitely let my mom know because a lot of people let me know about that that for sunny but i did choose to keep it before the video went up and it actually got me very excited to try that out so maybe if you have tried this out and you have like good things to say about it i could let my mom know maybe she could be more excited about trying this out but me personally i'm not gonna keep this or this brushes and this cuticle oil. i might keep it i don't know i'm i'm gonna think about it just because I've been trying to take care of my nails um, ever since I gave birth they have been like chipping a lot so maybe this would be good to try out to see if, like it strengthens my nails or something or if it does something I might keep that but so far these two things I'm definitely not gonna keep um, so overall this box was okay it wasn't my favorite I'm really more excited towards the December box because um, the choice item for premium was a VZR palette so I'm very excited to get that and the the boxy charm um, the base box wasn't really that excited. I did pick out something, but that's just got something I'm going to re-gift to somebody, um, the curling iron. So, that's why I chose that. But definitely for the premium, I'm very excited. I can't wait to see more spoilers. I hope it's better than this box. But it was an okay box. Um, three, maybe four out of the things I will be keeping, which is the Pure Facing One, the Dose of Color Single Eyeshadow, and of course, my choice item, which is the El Masca palette and maybe the Cuticle Oil. The other two I'm just gonna give away um, but yeah so again I got variation number four if anybody is curious um, let me know that in the comment below if you got the same box or what what else was in the box I'm, I haven't really seen any variations um, as of now I really haven't seen anything but yeah that will be all for my unboxing for the month of November let me know what you got down in the let me know what you received in the comments down below and thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos and i'll see you in my next one bye